Well, I wanted to show you a latest project that I finished. And um, excuse my voice, and excuse if I cough, but I'm getting over a bad cold. You know how those summer colds can be. They feel, I think, worse than when you get them during this, the winter time. But um, <clears throat> I had received all of my peacock pages, and they were just sitting there, and I said, I have to put my journal together and I wanted to share with you guys what I did. Um, I put this together a little differently than I usually do the deconstructed um, pages in the respect that you know we we receive them folded right and I ended up putting this together with all the pages opened up. So it was a little different for me, a little challenging but I like the way it turned out. Basically what I did is I took a piece of fabric and I um, sewed them together and that kind of created the hinge right there so to speak. And I did that with all the pages and then once they were put together I had enough for two separate signatures and then I basically uh, pamphlet stitched the um, two signatures onto a wider piece of fabric like this and then I sewed the the front and the back cover to that piece of fabric and I'll show you along the way what I'm talking about but here is the front and everything in this journal was part of the swap of the um, of the peacock swap and what I also ended up doing is I had some from a previous swap and I ended up putting them all together I also had some um, individuals that had sent me some happy mail and they happened to have peacocks in there or they actually made me pages with peacocks so everything um, is basically put here together so I have one place to view all of my peacocks. So um, this, um, I had made some of these and I was going to include them in the swaps that I sent out but what happened was I was afraid they were going to break because this is just a shell and um, I remember one time um, I sent something like this out and even though it was packaged it broke. So, um, so I had a few of these left over that I had made and, and decided to send out. But what I did is I cut out or tore out some of the peacock from one of the napkins that I had and just glued it on there and then put some copper tape that I had from some um, previous projects that I had, put that around there and just tied it um, onto a piece of um, leftover trim that I had. <clears throat> this also was included in um, one of the many swaps that I had that had to do with the peacocks. Okay, so this is the front. As, as I mentioned, I have two signatures that I sewed onto a larger piece of fabric. And then the cover, I sewed onto that piece of uh, a fabric. Now, um, like I said, this, I have so many neat pieces that people have given me. And um, some of them were just the pieces of paper, and then I put them on something else. Other people, like I say, sent me these inches that happened to do with, um, with the peacocks, too. So I've, I've incorporated various um, pieces that I've been sent from different people. And I haven't um, started to journal in here, but I, I am, this is going to be a working journal. I do have a few places, and then I have, like I say, pockets here that I'll be able to use. Um, and this is just um, a napkin that I put down. This was sent to me outside of the, of the swap, and uh, I wanted to incorporate that on there, too. This is a postcard I made a while back, and this is also just the um, 
some peacocks that were in some napkins that I put on there. And this was given to me in the past, but I like the colors and thought it would look nice in there. Here you can see where I was sewing together uh, the various pieces together. They're all so different and unique. Everyone has their own interpretation of what to do with the peacocks, but I just think they're so neat. Um, something I was going to glue in. Forgot to do that. <clears throat> this was one of those that I had showed you in my other um, my other swap where they made the really pretty scallops. And I believe this is um, Fran's very first attempt in swapping and she did such a beautiful job. And then the other side of the one that was cut out. So pretty. And you can see we have a lot of the same napkins, but they all look different depending on the backgrounds, what they put in the background, or what they sealed them with, or colored them with. So don't ever feel like you're limited when you, you know, have just certain supplies, because, you know, you can make them look so different. Isn't <laughs> that cute? And this is a good example where um, several of us have this stencil, yet it looks different every place that it's that it's been used. Pretty scallop work. And I used part of the artwork that they had on the envelopes. And different napkins I was gifted. I put out a call to, for napkins that had anything to do with peacocks and I got a nice little stash. And those are all incorporated in here in different places. And this was given to me outside of the swap but I thought it was perfect to go in here. see all the <laughs> how different everybody approached this and it's so cute and I just liked a lot of the um, stamps I have some more I need to put in that I took off and some sent me some um, stationery so I'll be able to use that so I'm going to keep that there so I know where it is and there's the bag. And this is, well, when I, when I did the front cover, actually, you know, it was really easy to, to sew this in with the machine because I just, you know, folded this kind of up and, and sewed it. When it came to the back, because now it had become so thick, I got, uh-oh, what am I going to do? So I had to kind of sort of cheat. And what I did with the back cover is I ended up having to glue it. So this, the back part, is not sewn in. But um, you can see how I put the, put it together. And it's different. I kind of like, you know, seeing the, them open. I think in this particular project it works. Uh, I don't think maybe it would work in, on 
you know, all the swaps, but, um, you know, it's just an option of how you can put these together. And I was really quite pleased. So thank you everybody who participated or, um, you know, sent me anything that had to do with peacocks because one shape or another, they're all incorporated in here. And um, I really appreciate it very much. And hope you enjoyed the little flip. Thank you.